Hey everyone, so it's now the next day after the new Chevy Bolt reveal and a couple more specs came out so we wanted to get into that. First off, the important specs, it has vehicle to home at 9.6 kilowatts which is really crazy for a $30,000 car that it, you'll have a 65 kilowatt backup battery on hand. It has the 65 kilowatt LFP battery which is lithium iron phosphate, better uh, more cycle count, you can keep it at a higher state of charge and it's cheaper for GM to produce. It has 150 kilowatt fast charging. It comes with a heat pump now. So the range hit isn't as great in the winter. It has the same cargo space surprisingly as the Equinox with the seats folded. It's 57 cubic feet. With the seats up, it only has 16 cubic feet. It has a battery heater for preconditioning, which is really nice, especially in the winter if you're going on a road trip. There is no more regen paddle, which I think some people might be disappointed with just because the regen paddle is nice to have, but instead there's three new modes. There's low, high, and then there's like a blended mode. The gear selector is no longer in the center console. It's on the gear stalk or the steering wheel stalk new ambient lighting on the interior so that's kind of cool it comes in seven colors we'll put a graphic on the screen so you can see those new colors it comes with the ccs adapter because as you guys might know it has an nacs port instead of a ccs port so that's a nice to have it has the new updated super cruise with lane changes and then the last thing is they finally fixed the tail light so there's no more cracking your skull on that back tail light, which is really nice. Hopefully if I get this car, I won't hit my head.